Hi everybody, this is CVGS, I'm Zakafti here and welcome to Cup Fight 162. Yes, we have our cup fights back for you guys right now also. And while this isn't the final format that we're actually gonna be doing our cup fights on, uh at the moment right now we're actually in uh, toxic uh cut shop. And so it's a little bit noisy and the noise is uh the audio isn't really usable here for you guys to be able to hear what's going on. Usually we have our intros here and whatnot, but this time around we're just gonna do a little bit of dubbing. Again, this is not the final form of our cup fights, we actually have a different format that we want to do it at, but we're still gonna give you a good fight through and through also. So this is actually a matchup between myself and Rin. Uh we're playing Unica against Roa. So this is going to be a interesting one for you guys also. And I'm glad that we actually have these cup fights right now because while we do have our Top 6 tournament fights that we have for you guys So we're still going to keep those And those top 6 tournament fights So we'll just be able to show you guys Like what's really going on Or what players are playing You know at uh, Playing at the top here in Singapore also. Uh, from, uh, from top 6 cup shop of course also. But nevertheless you can actually See these cup fights from us right now But it's time for me to 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 stop talking And just talk about the match That you see over here right now also. So Rin is actually playing now We already see the great ones going off from there um, The great 2 Roroa uh, Retiring the, the the plot token That was generated by the great 1 Roroa And you know Calling out another 2 more plot tokens from there And me playing uh, Unica Right into short, uh, short starts Playing uh, uh, Burakan And Burakan being able to actually Put cards into soul from your hand And then if you did that You get to draw one So it's a good way to kind of like Like draw more in a way but you can also get it for the drop zone too as well. So, uh, you know, if you need something more specific, I'd say a critical trigger in the soul. Also. But nevertheless, uh, Turin Diana now coming in, short spotted skill coming in, draw, uh, soul charge too. And no, absolutely no critical, so that you can't get a plus one draw from there. So, that's a little bit unfortunate on my end also. But one more time, Bureau card coming in, just stuffing more cuts into the soul. So, now, the thing about. The thing about my playstyle here, right, or rather what I'm doing with Unica here, is that I'm trying to make sure that there's at least three triggers in the soul, uh, so that when I blast it out, so I can actually benefit from uh, Unica's ability to be able to blast 5k to, uh, to units, and if I do it three times over, so that means I can have like one unit be 50k, or spread it across and have every unit plus 5k, also. so it also amps up the Persona right you also say too as well. But nevertheless, Rin right now just deciding what to discard for uh, for the the ride up, but you know, this is more of a friendly match for you guys. So you know, nothing competitive here. We're both just having a good time. Uh, Rin actually wanted to see what uh, Yurika was all about. She's never actually fought it before, so this is a good opportunity for her to just kind of see stuff from there. So, but of course, the Royal deck is also boosted up with cards from uh, DT09. Um, so stuff for Cramphia. Uh, it's also in here too as well as you can see some cards in here and uh, yeah and also the boost with Roa too as well so the Gritchy Radilina uh, being available in this deck so yeah nevertheless we get to see um, the the order card the promo order card uh, coming in and the promo order card right is that you pick color plus one and then you'll be able to uh, search your deck for Radilina uh, and actually add it to your hand uh, then, but, the, but the secondary ability is a bit more important also because all your all your tokens in the token units in the back row uh, will gain plus 5k also. So that power stacks up if you have multiple uh, set orders uh, in place, then you can actually get like that Momo K or the more of the plant tokens are so just getting a little bit more power. So Momo K being called out and using his ability to retire ray guards and then it gets plus 5k for every card that's retired. So ideally you want the plant token there and make use of Roro's ability and so plus one and then call out three uh, plant tokens straight up. So yeah. So right now, Aurora now attacking. And yep, don't forget to cut out the power ring as well because we also got like plus 5k's to the back row so that Momo K is plus 10k in total. And of course, the combination here is that the Momo K will give power to Radelina uh, when Radelina attacks. Whatever power that it has, so it will be given over to it. So Then in combination with the Great 3 2 as well, which actually takes the power of the Great 2 Radelina onto itself when it comes down after the Great 2 Radelina attacks. Uh, and yeah, you just go from there. So critical trigger as well. So power want to go to Momo K of course, so you can power up the that, that column side. And of course Momo K can attack from the back row too as well. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a booster. But nevertheless, Cap is taking a lot of damage here. I'm taking a lot of damage here. So, but I have 20k. Uh, but I have a 20k shoot right now. So that Momo K might not be able to attack on its own because it it won't be 30. But with the boost from Redilina, so it can hit right now. So yeah, and I just got out of easily with 5k, so 
the plant tokens can't do anything. Of course, the plant tokens uh, in set 8 for, for the champion side, the Strawberry Prince uh, characters, the boys, uh, are considered as plant tokens over here. And now we move on also, and then you can see me actually discarding Unica to, to, to ride up into Unica as well, giving up that one persona right also. But with my hand stake in there right now, so the choice was really difficult also because you definitely needed uh, the units of the, uh, the ring art. I definitely needed my ring arts there, so just be able to, to guard off to it as well. So Unica had to be the best shot from there. Stopping the thing right now, but I did call Bortis to the side as well. So Bortis is one of those cards right that uh, I personally felt was uh you know like there was no there was no place where we came out with dvd 06 or so so i was like wondering where was the place is or so then once unica came in and it is ideal so blast three is like that's why bottles goes immediately right there so and you can see right now so as i so blast three uh so plus one critical i so blast, i i bind all criticals that were so blaster for this course and unica's ability will be able to uh perform the following effects based on the number of uh criticals in the bind zone so one or more you get to retire one of your opponent's ray guards. Two or more you get um two or more you get plus one critical and three or more you get plus one driver. So you definitely want to get three as fast as possible, but as you can see I only got one here, so, so it's a little bit more more difficult. But then I also use Bortis' skill too as well, which is power blast one. If two more cards were so blasted uh for the cost of the Vanguard's ability, you this thing gets plus five kit. If three or more were blasted at the same time, you can color blast one, choose a card from your drop zone and put it in the soul, retire one of points ray guards uh with the same Great as a unit that you put in the soul for for uh, uh for this ability. So draw trigger, critical trigger. Got another critical trigger. So hopefully I can find a way to stop it. Also. So it is stem DV dragon. So I could just boost with it. But you know, where's the fun in that? But nevertheless, I'm going coming in strong. So plus one critical to the vanguard and plus, uh reading gets plus 10k and gets a huge trigger there too as well. It gets to heal because it's a three damage. So uh. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, 20k Rorowa, so um, this unit can attack right there. I believe I gave most of the power to to throw Dina for for. Uh, oh no no, I I spread it between throw Dina and uh, Bortis there. So, so yeah, uh, throw Dina will be attacking here, uh, for 38. Right now, Bortis already attacked already for uh for 23. Draw trigger, so Rin. Getting draws and keeping the hand size big, so. Yikes. But yeah, nevertheless, so I was talking about Bortis earlier, and yeah, that will, uh, that, that's just like, oh, Bortis goes here, so, and just how ideal it is, so, because while I would ideally would want to send, like, my triggers in, again, my goal with Unica is to actually have triggers in the soul, so that whenever I blast it outright, I would be able to, uh, be able to give power to the field, so, at every instance that I can get, so. So, um, yeah, uh, absolutely 100%, uh, like, it's a worthwhile, Bortis is worthwhile, so, and judging by, by what people are buying also for Unica as well, Bortis is, like, just going out, so, but it makes sense, it makes sense, also, there's a place for him in, uh, this deck after all. But anyways, Rin right now, going in with, uh, calling out, uh, the plant tokens using Rorwa's ability, so plus, and then actually plus 15k, because we're tying all of them to Momo King. And then calling down the Greater Radina, which she got from the, the set order. She got a second one too as well because she played a second set order. But of course, that just means that the entire back row is just going to be stuck to, to the brim over there. So. But at the same time, so you can see uh, one of the new cards from there. I believe I don't have the name right now, but you move it into Soul and then you call two plant tokens. So again, so just having just being able to generate plant tokens as well on a regular basis really helps the deck. So. And while it's used in Grand Fear, that doesn't mean that Rorowa cannot benefit from Grand Fear's boost as well. So it's a nice... Uh, Double boost also for anything that says plant token, it means that it's a that means that it's a boost for both Gramphia and for Roa too as well. So which is nice to see. So pretty nice to see also. I kinda glad that Gramphia actually came uh, in also in the way that it did. Uh play with the plant tokens and all that with the you know, blessed rose and all that also. But that, that just means that Roa gets plus every time Gramphia gets a plus two as well. Alright, so Vega attacking, so I am intercepting with Turn Dina and I'm calling out my my draw trigger to be able to get the the, the to be able to get the, the plus tanky shield from there, but a heal trigger. And of course she's gonna power up to Momuke as well. She's gonna go for the big one right now. I should know because I played this deck uh you know and then Momuke actually gets up to like 50k and then after that 55k when we ride in attack so she's like transfer over the power. And I have a ready Lina at 75k or so, which is a big thing to say the least. Uh, nevertheless, uh, we do have 
we do have a uh, uh, twenty k coming in to do it, so I have to cut off fifteen from there, which means I drop my critical trigger. But that's not a uh, uh, you know that's not the sweat off my brow, so to speak. Uh, and uh, yeah, and not uh, yeah, got it, me got it with the over trigger from there. So so now this is gonna be interesting because. Uh, okay, let's get past the turn first as well. So, uh, Radina will be attacking, and of course, it'll be uh, attacking. Then, of course, I take the hit, I get a draw trigger, draw one, but take it to my Vanguard. But then, the great tree Radina will come into play right now from hand, and then it will keep the power, and then it will inherit the power that um, that the great tree Radina had as well. So, this one is a uh, this one is a 15, uh, 20. Uh, 35 plus 13 so it <laughs> just means it's a thick so <laughs> just means it's a thick for me indeed so so yeah but anyways uh draw one uh and get a persona right as well put the card in the soul because of the fact that the vanguard my my, my unica my my right deck unica is actually the ffr so you know flex a little bit why not right everybody's doing it why don't i get to flex a little bit yeah all right so then call kid speed uh griffin and chris griffin gets to put into the soul now earlier i was talking about uh, something interesting. This is probably the the most action you ever get to see an over trigger do. Well, because I'm just gonna keep stuffing that over trigger into the soul as much as possible. I'm gonna be blasting it out, then putting it back in, blasting it out, putting it back in. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, if it's if if I've used it for its shield already, and it's not gonna be triggered. Then there's nothing more that I need to do. Yeah, there's nothing much more that I need to do. Yeah, so just you know, have fun with it. So why not? Why not? Over trigger goes in the soul, comes out of the soul, goes in the soul, goes in the soul, comes out of the soul. It, it it's the bomb. So. But I'm getting set up right here. I also have Inhale Pit down. Inhale Pit's ability is to be able to um, to actually Soul Blast a Great 1 or more. Then you get actually put two cards uh, into the Soul. Put two Great Zeros from a Drop Zone into the Soul. So, you know, if I just need that Emergency uh, Trigger to, to go in, Emergency Triggers to go in for, for Unica's ability, then yeah, that, that, that's just what I'll be doing. So, so yeah, another critical bind right now. So uh, I will be able to retire one in the case I retire the great tree readily enough, and giving the entire front row plus five k. So to to increase the power of the um, basically to increase the power of uh, the persona right from ten to fifteen, and then sending the over trigger into the soul to bottom his ability and retiring the plant token. So gotta make gotta make a written book for for those plant tokens as well, straight up. So. And then uh, one more time, Bureau, uh, Bureau Khan, basically. Nope, nope, me deciding. So changing to put a heal trigger from my hand into the soul so that I can draw one. And as you can see, <laughs> it would be better if it was just left on the top. So, so yeah. Ah. In any case, uh, plus critical to Unica right now. And uh, yeah. Uh, Unica coming in with. Uh, I think, oh, okay. So I actually added uh, the powers differently. So. Nevertheless. Uh, yeah. Straight up attacking, so Rain deciding to guard. So this should get plus 50k because I do have an original crit. Uh, I, I, no, I don't have an original crit. Uh, I have a crit by, by, by effect, basically. Two or more criticals by effect. So that guard will, will come in and help a little bit. And then, of course, so we are now attacking with, uh, uh, the right side. Uh, Bortis. Alright, then Bortis plus 5k, there we go. So, yeah. Right, so doing a power count for now, uh, we should have Bortis coming in for, uh, don't know if it's, well, Bortis is a, it's a thing right there. So. Then Kids Big Griffin coming in right now, being boosted by Turn Diner. So if memory serves right now, uh, it should be 18, 18 plus 20 it should be 38. Or so. So yeah, Rain just checking out like what her drops is and whatnot. So thinking, 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 thinking. <laughs> All right, then she decides to commit the thirty k guards from there, and yeah, the turn passes over back to her. So as you see, so the one thing about Unica right now, right, is that the the biggest flaw is that if you don't have three criticals in the bind, right, things are just gonna get a little bit difficult. Also. And so there are ways in which that you can actually bind from hand, and you can also bind from, from your drop tool as well, which is the most ideal place to do so. Um, 
But uh, yeah, I mean, if you don't get the three in there, right, you don't benefit from the triple drive, which means that your hand size is pretty low, and definitely something that players would pounce on for sure. So, uh, but nevertheless, we do have the persona right coming in right now. So uh, Rain now calling out the uh, the plant tokens right now, and uh, yeah. She needs to find a way to be able to get the Great Two Red Lina. So I don't think she has any of the Great Two Red Linas. And may have to resort to other units being called out. And there you go, we get to see the, the Great Tree down there. Uh calling out. But now, uh oh, yep, gotta get the power right now. Oh no no no, don't take my Kid Speed Dragon as so, well. Uh, Kid Speed Griffin gets plus 5k or so it's, uh, it's active on the bonus too as so. well. It gets plus 5k power and plus 5k shield whenever you have three, two or more criticals in the in the bind zone. Nevertheless, uh, Rorona now attacking right now. So Rorona is 23, 23 plus the, the, the 15 in the back. It's a PG. Simple. It's just a PG. Alright, drive check. Nothing. Second check. Oh, okay. So she gets the Elementaria. And now attacking with the plant token side too as well. So it's like 15 and 15. So it's like 30k coming in at Unica. So, so that's a straight up total 20k guard. Or would I be able to guard this? I would have a heal trigger and a inhale pit, I think. Oh no no no, it's a it's a great push. It's the it's the other one. And of course the last attack, just PG straight up. One card left in hand also. <laughs> Two as well. I get to survive, but for how much longer also? Uh but of course the great ability coming in also is that at the end of the turn you can actually uh have it be retired. Oh no, move it into soul. And after that you can actually um you know call two plant tokens out also. So so same as the the mushroom that we saw, uh, the great one mushroom from there, and, and in the fact that it's actually a a auto ability instead of a act ability, but you still get to generate a whole bunch of plant tokens as well. And so Rin just gets to keep her entire hand. So that's what's nice about about plant tokens or shadow army tokens, uh, in a sense. So uh, the tokens there just being able to actually provide a whole ton of like uh, attacking force, especially if you have. Um, uh, you know, abilities that will allow you to be able to, uh, that will allow you to be able to, um, uh, bomna to uh, power up from there. So, uh, yeah, yeah, so much I can say. Also, it help hit uh coming in right now. So blast and uh, so blast uh the Unica and actually sending in the crit and a hit trigger into soul. So again, my goal here is to just be able to get triggers to blast out. Also. So yeah. And of course, uh, making use of Turdina's ability, uh, sorry, uh, Short Spada ability. Short Spada will gain plus 10k if you bind a, uh, a trigger from your soul. Uh, so just trying to power up, so just trying to hit as hard as possible. Since I did have a spec trigger in there that I wanted to use. And there you can see the over trigger coming out, the crit getting bind, and the heal trigger coming in. So yeah, uh, Unica's ability to plus power, but now I have the, the full skill available now, which is the, the third uh, bind gives me plus uh critical uh sorry gives me the plus critical gives me the retire one which i already did and now gives me the triple drive right now so that triple drive is uh much needed uh in the sense of so. so yeah uh, make use of bottom's ability one more time sending green zero into soul and retiring another um uh plant token from there <clears throat> And me just explaining to to win so that no 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 no, no we're gonna keep the strawberry prince boys there so the soto prince boys can stay there i'm just gonna get rid of the the actual normal plant token so it's too bad i have to retire the other one so because we had the whole party there so. but nevertheless uh Unica attacking right now and rin uh using the blitz order to guard she does have the scout one because i'm not i don't have the triple drive ability so you know she has to drop one in order to to use the, the blitz order but my drive checks are completely and utterly blank right now. With only five cards left in the hand, so wild. Bot is now coming in. We have fifteen k right now, All right? And then oh yeah, I forgot to add uh, Unica's uh, ability. So uh, I wasn't gonna add it to the Unica itself also because Unica already has the triple drive already. I already put enough threat for that, so I don't need to add another five more. Uh, especially since I know that the Elementaria is in there, she's got a PG, so. You know, just power up to the sides and so and just see how from there. So, so Bottis gets plus 5k and the Kidspeak Griffin gets the 10k from the Soul Blast for uh Soul Blasting of the Triggers for Yuriga's ability. Doing a power count from there and just seeing where to, to you know, 
can put stuff in. Uh. Rain got him with the whole own over trigger too as well. So, all right. <laughs> you gotta clean off the 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 dust <laughs> off of my card. But yeah, so Rain now bringing it back straight up. Uh, so I, that's the whole entire theme of 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 this fight, isn't it? So you can probably see it in the title. Also. We're bringing it all back, bringing it back. <laughs> In many aspects, so that's pretty thematic, so yeah, in terms of this. But nevertheless, um, the Great Red Lina coming into play right now. Now, the Great Red Lina does have the ability that at the start of your main phase, you actually get to call Mokei token if you don't have a Mokei token on the field, on the regard circle. Uh, but because this is past that point already, so you don't see it. But you can still get that 10k boost right now. The set order really paying dividends for win side, so to be able to have some viable guards uh, from there. And now, uh, playing with the order card that gives a unit plus 5k uh, for every uh, 5 cards in the drop zone, not including the order itself because it's not there just yet. Uh, she's got 19 currently right now, so uh, so basically one unit gets plus 15k, and then if you add uh, if you add 15k or more, then that unit also gets plus 1 critical 2 as well. So, uh, so where will she add it? So will she add it to Radelina? Or will she add it to a plant token? In this case, she's going with the plant token to plus 50k and get plus 1 critical there too as well. So, yeah. Alright, gotta save Reno there. <laughs> gotta save Reno. Gotta let him be on the floor. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, because, because the set order doesn't go into the drop zone just yet, so it doesn't count as part of the drop zone until his, uh, until his ability is completely resolved. So, but right now we can see there's no Persona right. I'm guarding for one trigger. And there's the one trigger, <laughs> so he'll trigger some more. And uh, yeah, we don't get to see the extra critical coming to play though. So, but yeah, I mean, you saw the amount of hit triggers in my hand, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I had to point out. So she passed power to Radlina. So I got for one. You, you should get puppy to the side. Oh no 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 no! no. I got Ender I just want to kill you right now. So <laughs> and the hit goes in there, and yeah, the match is over from there. So just gonna have enough guards from there. So got the one there. I could PG something else, but. You know, that, that's how the match turns out. So, uh, plus you have the, the deck list for you guys. So you guys can actually check out and see what we are playing here from now. Uh, but all in all, also, um, just straight up uh, for Turin Dian, uh, for, for uh, sorry, Unica, I'm just going in hard, uh, as hard as possible. Eight criticals, of course. Uh, and in Hill Pit in there too as well. And also a lot of power, power plus too as well. I'm definitely looking forward to set 10 or so when, when we get some uh, cards out there for, for Biko best guess. But mainly for Unica too as well. So, but as I flash over to uh, Rin's deck uh, here, as you can see, so she's running with quite uh, not that many cards that came from set nine, but still uh, be able to uh, you know be able to hit hard and being able to uh, uh, consistently call out the plant tokens from there. So so Momoke always has enough units to actually be able to get power from not just from Rowan's ability but also from the the mushroom the great one as well and the great tree just be able to have plant tokens there so so that you can oh yeah <laughs> consistently have the, the the plant tokens come out from there so, so i hope you guys enjoyed this fight if you guys want to see the the tournament fight for you guys it's out at the same time as this video too as well so you can head over uh to the end state to find that that, that video from there and as i said this isn't the uh, final form of the way that we're going to be handling cup fights uh, going forward from there we are bringing it back uh, because you, we want to be able to show more uh, of the of the stuff that other decks that we have and what Vega actually has right now so uh, being able to return to the card fights so uh, it's a good idea in that sense so and yeah if you do like this so be sure to subscribe to us so ring it in the bell so you can notify of all of our videos whenever we get released hope you guys enjoyed this we got more coming out down the line too as well so be sure to stay tuned and we'll see you